Okay, it's Thursday, therefore, yeah. hottest topic, mm -hmm. American Idol. Absolutely, Ooh. yeah. It was so good last right? night. Right? Didn't you think so? I loved it. Mm -hmm. I loved it. And I'll tell you, it's like, it's one of those things where every season, you know, when you get to that top ten, there's always a couple that you're saying, eh. There's just a couple yeah. I really like, and there's a few that are really not so good. But mm -hmm. this year, they always bring it. I mean, I think all of them have a really unique style, and I like the fact that they're all bringing a different genre of music to yes. the table. I just wish that, you know, I love every one of the judges, but I almost wish we had Simon back because I, know. I can't make a decision. I can't decide. I'm like, I don't know who I want to let go. I think they're all really good, but Simon, he's really good at weeding them out. He'll find something. He's He'll like you. To critique, when you know? me and Michael are here, he's like you. He's the voice of reason. Mm -hmm. See? So I kind of get that. <laughs> Now, he's a little meaner than yeah. mine, I think. Well, yeah, he's meaner, you know. but he's the voice of reason. So, you yeah. know, like you, mm -hmm. voice of reason. But another person who's kind of the voice of reason and also just super fabulous, love her, is Judge Jennifer Lopez. Mm -hmm. And actually, cool enough, we're going to be talking to People Magazine about the issue that comes out tomorrow a little later because she is the most beautiful girl in the world. They embarrassed her a little bit. She loved it. Come on. Yeah. You know she loved it. Well, look at her. She looks better now, I think, than she ever has. Better than ever. And mm -hmm. she's a mom of twins. You know, I feel like she's one of those people who as she has aged she has just gotten more and more beautiful and of course there's her proud husband Mark Anthony in the audience and Ryan is just having way too much fun with this <laughs> he's loving it and I love her yeah. and you know the, the show actually kicked off really cool it was fun it was yeah Paul started the show with some old-time rock and roll yes he did he did he did Let's take And the American Idol finalists' songs, of course, came from the silver screen throughout the rest of the evening as well. Mm -hmm. And they were all really good. Now, he, so good. he is just, he's super fly. Mm -hmm. I don't think his voice stands up the test no. to uh, the strength of some of the other contestants. I don't either. I was just thinking that watching it for a second time that, you know, not as strong as the other contestants. And I love the song. Right. I think that might have been his only saving grace, really, with that one. <laughs> because it is such a good song and a fun song, but his voice, yeah, a little off. Well, he's one of those that if he went home tonight... I really believe that he is still going to have a very big career mm -hmm. because there's a lot of people who like that genre. You know, of course, he is kind of throwback to Rod Stewart. I don't think yeah. his voice is as good as Rod Stewart, mm -hmm. but but he's got a, his own style. He's very unique. And then it was time, of course, for Stefano's huge recovery from the bottom, too. Together, and you know that I'm right. Why do you play with my head? Why do you? Yeah, he was singing The End of the Road by Boys and Men, of course, and that was his best performance to date, I think. Oh, it definitely was. They said uh, Stefano is slaying it, mm -hmm. and actually here is what Judge Randy Jackson had to say about it. So right, man. What I'm so happy about this season, man, is that we have real, true artists on the show. I don't think we've ever had anybody exactly like you ever. I mean, the fact that you're giving like a Grammy kind of performance that you could have been performing with, I know Ray was playing, but Herbie Hancock or whomever, and you're like Charles Mingus. We these are Ray. all these are all names and stuff people don't realize, but I hope America gets this because what I'm loving this season, it's about education and it's about embracing who you are. This guy is a jazz kind of artist. I could see him making kind of an extended kind of buble kind of record and these records do sell there's a place for this and a place for you i thought it was brilliant man i thought it was absolutely genius okay well that was clearly obviously the judge's remarks on casey mm -hmm. uh casey obviously did a very unique performance but i just want to go back real quick because i did say we were going to see what stefano's uh, comments were and they were really impressed they of course did agree that mm -hmm. it was one of his best performances ever yeah. and they were really pleased with him so i hope he doesn't go to the bottom too because his voice is, in fact, incredible. Yeah. And speaking of Casey, it was kind of cool to see him kind of go against the grain and, and, yeah. and go with his own style. But yeah, I noticed that once Casey sang, that kind of seemed to be the trend mm -hmm. with the other performers that they didn't go with what uh, Will I Am and Jimmy were, were talking about. They kind of went with their own voice and, and did their own thing. I agree. I agree 100%. And, you know, Casey was really good. And I think Scotty is definitely going to secure that country vote once again. Mm, I think he's, sure. he's really got his own special style. And if you are a country fan he's really the one he's the one that you'd want to vote for I would mm -hmm. imagine and James with some heavy metal ah, loved it yeah. now 
I heard it from a friend who heard it from a friend who heard it from another. Yeah, and she's off into another musical riff this morning. <laughs> Love it, which has been leading up to who is performing at Buffalo Thunder tomorrow night. Yes, in just these few months together, Kristen has already become very hip to my tricks. In this case, she is absolutely right. Ario Speedwagon, the group behind so many hits like Take It on the Run, Time for Me to Fly, Keep on Loving You, Can't Fight This Feeling, they are coming to New Mexico. Yep, they're performing. Friday night, April 15th at 8 o'clock at the Tiwa Ballroom at Buffalo Thunder Resort and Casino. Definitely check that out. I think it'll be great. Yes, check it out. And how will the weather be for those taking it on the run? Improving. we got to get through today first, though. Here's a look at the forecast.